I've been seeing a lot of videos on Instagram and TikTok of people talking about the cost of housing being out of control, the cost of rent being out of control. Now, I'm all about the bullshit and the laughs and giggles, but check it. You're talking to a very accomplished real estate broker. I'm a broker in 17 states and I actually represented Fannie Mae during this infamous real estate crash for the state of Georgia. The exact person that you can blame if you want to blame somebody for the housing situation being uh, messed up, I'll give you a hint. You probably got a bedazzled t-shirt with his face all over it. Now, it was Barack Obama. Now, am I a Republican? No. Am I a Trump supporter? No. But do I have information? Do I have firsthand accounts of what went on? Oh, yes, I do. So stay tuned. During the infamous housing crash, there was a thing called the Protecting Tenants Under Foreclosure Act. If you were in a property and you were renting it, you were able to stay in that property. If you were a homeowner and you lost a property, you were allowed to rent that property and be able to stay there, ironically, for about two or three years um, so that you could get yourself together. So if you were one of the uh, 8,000 homes, you probably had me come to the property and negotiate a rent with you and manage the property while you were there. Now, in a lot of instances, these tenants and sometimes these homeowners after a year or two were able to gather their finances and they were able to want to purchase the property. That sounds logical. So after about a few hundred offers would always be denied, I'm on a conference call and I ask and I inquire, why are we not allowing these people to buy their homes that they've been living in? Like, why are we doing that? You wanna know what I was told by Fannie Mae? I was told that they have direct instructions to not do that. And so do you wanna know what happened sometime later? They were pooling these properties in pool sales and you had to have between 10 and $50 million in escrow in order to bid on a house that somebody was living in that was 60,000, even though that family were offering 60,000 cash to buy their home. But who would have that type of money, Summer? Who would have that type of money? Because it ain't nobody up here in the A. Oh, I'll tell you who had it because I represented them. Um, China, South Africa, Australia, hedge funds from outside entities. I had no idea that America was for sale. And the uh, Obama administration totally is the one that put it on the market. And I said, this is going to harm Americans. Like, why do you not want Americans to be able to buy this property at these low rates and i also was told because if you have a father who makes good money and his wife the mother makes good money and they're not paying high prices for where they live and they're saving money and now they are opening businesses and now the wife's not working and taking care of the family it changes the dynamic and the course of how america is built and we don't want that so basically you want people to stay in debt and you want them to pay these exorbitant prices this was all by it was all by design y'all by design so anyone that listened to me during that time think back uh, the stitches video if you was one of them people i told everybody there is something up will you please buy whatever property you can i don't even care if you like the bitch buy it i did the same thing i bought a house for a hundred thousand and it's worth 415 today it's not even the, the normal rate of inflation. So I was right that something was amiss. So ask yourself, did you know that about 30% of real estate is owned by outside entities, these hedge funds? The reason why you can't find a house is because they're coming in with 30, 40, 50,000 over asking price with cash and you can't find a house? You never ask yourself, why did the housing market why did a basic dusty ass trap house go from a hundred thousand to three hundred thousand overnight? 
You think that was an accident? And stop with the bullshit that the market's getting ready to go back. It's not going back. Because before it was in our control. Now we got, it's, it's, it's in big business. Big business control. The market's not going back. So if you missed knowing me during that time, I, I, I'm sorry. So again, you can thank the Obama administration for your high rent and your high housing prices because once they bought it for 60000 and the rents went from a one bedroom uh, in Atlanta was around 800 and now it's 1500 and some uh, business owners in Australia and South Africa, you paying for their luxury, you could thank Obama for that, okay? That was him. It, he was your color, but not your kind. Now, I do, I voted for Barack Obama twice, like I say, don't come at me with that shit.